it's not as straightforward as one would think. This movie in particular was actually quite challenging because we went through a couple of issues. Um, one of them was COVID. Mm. So halfway through filming, COVID shut down the set. Everyone had a return home. We had to sort of re-strategize, come back. Uh, we came back not to Miami. We went back to Vegas. You know, we had a, another little issue again where we had to shut down the set. So it was just numerous issues for it to actually come together. Um, the initial the initial story um, was actually, you know, I, I had I had battled to talk with a, a fellow writer for a while in the beginning before writing took place. And I was actually between meetings in New York. And finally, just like you and I, we finally were able to make the meeting happen. And, and I was like, I don't know, I'm rushing to a meeting, but I'm walking across New York City. I'm probably 20 minutes away. Let's just chat. And honestly, in that 20 minutes, the concept, um, the, the, the main bones of the concept came about, right? And um, it just the way it happened, because we had so many tricky issues with filming and COVID really, I mean, shut down the world as the entire world knows, uh, these different issues really made us deviate a little from the original concept, right? So, you know, we were, um, we were going to shoot a sequel also when we returned to Vegas and film, you know, scheduling of actors uh, made it complicated to finish the first one first. So we went into shooting the sequel, right? And then we had an issue there again with on, on the set. So it became this really complicated endeavor where I really had to sit down and scratch my head and go, how do we put this together and actually come out with a movie that, you know, um, is a legitimate movie and makes sense. So it was quite, it was very complicated. It was the most complicated film I'd ever made. And, you know, you know, thankfully and legitimately, I could blame a pandemic uh, a couple of, a couple of times. Um, so, but in the end, I was quite surprised, you know, Lionsgate took us, uh, released us in some theaters in the U.S. and and yes, the 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 cast was phenomenal. Um, they people liked the action and really in the end, as a filmmaker, really had to kind of plug holes because we had to start and stop and go from sequel to the first. Like it, it became very um, uh, complex, but we made it happen. So in the end, I'm very proud. Lionsgate took it, um, and now actually. We're in the process of doing the sequel. And the sequel is really the original film that was devised while walking across New York City. That is the original that we're now going into. The first is, is this blend of, of films that uh, you really had to you know, focus hard to put together because of these delays and, and um, you know, having to shut down sets and you know resume constantly, so that's kind of where we are now. Where I think people will watch the first one and go, "Oh, I see where this is going," and then the second one be like, "Oh, that, that's obviously that that is the original. That makes sense. A lot of sense now, right?" So that's that's where it's where it's at. Yeah. And I suppose, Tony, were you heavily involved? Uh, can we see all your fingerprints in terms of the casting for all these different roles? Were you personally involved in casting everyone from Annalise to Jack to Donald? Or did Lionsgate play a part in that? Or did you have some, did you go to an agency? Or did you sit through all those auditions and say, or, or go after certain people and say, I had this person mm -hmm. in mind or this person in mind? Or how did that come about mm -hmm. to assemble such an all-star cast? Yeah, it's um, no Lionsgate distributors were not involved whatsoever. It wasn't financed in that manner. So really, we had all control. We're, we're making the film independently and we're going to go and sell it, which is what we did. Um, and yeah, you earmark certain actors that you want to, um, that you envisage as a writer uh, and, and you kind of go, uh, you know, after them. So it was a blend of myself and my producing partner in this film. My producing partner in this film, Mike Tadros Jr. 
between the two of us, uh, we managed to assemble this cast, right? Um, Mike is very proficient, actually. He's, he's the son of Mike Tadra Sr., which was, you know, head of Paramount Studios, etc. He's still a big studio producer. Uh, so we, we were able to pull in, you know, certain actors uh, who would fit the role, who made sense for the project, made sense budget-wise. It all kind of came together there. Uh, some having pre-existing uh, friendships, uh, Alan and I friends, so you, you know, and and others, and you know Jeff Fahey and all these kind kind of people, and you start putting them in, right? Um, so that was that was good. We and and you know everyone understood it was just became a really tough shoot. They understood shutting down, having to come back, and wait a minute, this doesn't make sense now. What are you gonna do here, right? And we're like. You know, and, and when I, you know, ended up, um, you know, finishing the movie off, actually, uh, you know, as a director and having, you know, some scenes there at the end, it was just like having to go to the actors and go, look, I know this doesn't make sense right now, but this is kind of what we're doing. And then be like, oh, OK, you're right. But uh, yeah, we assembled it um, between the two of us. Yeah. And I know your your background in terms of uh, military and uh, martial arts and sort of stuff like that. But you would have probably have never in your life been sort of filmed and have a hundred cameras on you in terms of training and sort of pro performing sort of stunts and sequences. And I suppose the stunts part was probably the easier part for you, but having to adjust the cameras to to sort of certain shots, to having yourself in certain proportions or frames. Was that, was that a new experience? Was that a bit challenging for you in terms of doing stunt work mm. uh, that would come across uh, visually good looking? Yeah. Um, so, yes, my primary business is defense. I, I own or founded a company called Mosaic. There's a, you know, a bunch of former CIA, NSA, other senior, you know, former agents that work for the company. Um, so that's completely different because it's so set in the real world. And then filmmaking is the direct opposite, right? It's all make belief. And I've never really merged the two, the intelligence business. I've never brought those stories in, but I, I may in the future, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, the action sure is organic, right? Uh, I'm a martial artist, the whole thing. So that's organic. I do my own stunts. I have on all my movies and that's what I love doing because it's, it's action. It's, you know, uh, I like it. I like making action movies, right? I, I have a movie in the theaters in Italy right now called Sicilian Holiday, which is a romantic comedy. Yes, I enjoyed it, but I'm like, I kind of missed the action, <laughs> you know, because it's so natural. Um, but when it comes to the acting part, while running my business, I've I've always kind of used film and acting as the creative side of me and relaxation from my day job, so to speak. So I, I've come for from quite a few films in the past. You know, one in particular did very well called Dark, D-A-R-C, that had a premiere on Netflix and then Amazon Prime. Um, but before that, it goes all the way back to the very, very first film on my filmography, which is Merchant of Venice, right? And I walked onto that and suddenly I'm seeing Al Pacino, Jeremy Irons, Joseph Fiennes right out of the gate, right? And going, wow. And I'm wearing tights, which didn't really work uh, if my other side of my life, my day job had to see that that was <laughs> quite interesting but but um so yeah i mean it all kind of comes together and now now it's it's really enjoying it i mean i i've made more of a business out of it because i also produced the film my company made the film uh, i mean every facet of the film much like dark right it was writing producing starring in it um and and now looking forward to going to the second one and really making the movie i intended to make while i was crisscrossing New York on foot, right? That's the movie I'm now going to make exactly like I wanted to make it.